What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over my full health power armor plasma caster build. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button the way the Fallout 76 community can see this, and subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. Let's get into it. Starting off everything, the Brotherhood of Steel has sent me to a few locations around the map, and that way I can demonstrate how powerful this plasma caster build is. And at the end of the video, I'll be showing you the exact plasma caster build I'm using, the plasma caster itself, and all of its mods. The first target on my list though is this very vicious super mutant behemoth that goes by the name Tobin. And Tobin is very, very mean and will smash our face in with his fire hydrant if we give him the chance, which we're not, because he's going to be dead by the time he realizes we're even here. Goodbye, Tobin. Sorry about this, man. Look at that. Uh-oh. The only thing I hate about power armor is unless we have the action points refresh perks, oh, it's a little bit slow. But Tobin is no more. Now let's move on to my next target. The next targets on my list that the brother that I still want me to take down are a bunch of vicious super memes located at the West Tech Research Center. And they're actually not supposed to be here. A couple weeks ago, I killed them and told them to get the heck out of here. This is my area. Well, it looks like they didn't listen. They came back for some of their technologies, which is now mine. Super mutant warlord, champion, whatever you are. You need to die. And you also need... Oh, broken glass. You also need to die. All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. Guess we're not batting them. Nope. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Sir, you need to die. Oh, they even brought their hounds. Oh, no. I don't feel good about killing hounds, but it is what it is. They gotta go. Goodbye, you champion. And where is the rest of you scums? Left or right? Left or right? We'll go left. I think they're all in here. Once we kill out them from in here, we shall be good. Oh. Didn't know I needed to reload. Go, go, go. Oh, no, the doggy. Poor doggy. Poor, poor. Oh, no, the doggy. Why the dogs? Why is there so many? Oh, my God. 1,237. Not bad. Not bad. Look at that. One thing I love about this is those bats criticals are amazing. Oops. Keep jumping. Goodbye, super mean. Is there any more over here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Look at Oh, look at him. We got a champion and we got a champion. Y'all are just... Y'all aren't champions. Y'all are losers. Now, let's move on to my next... Oh, another puppy. Oh, two more puppies. Oh, no. Where are you going, puppy? Okay, let's move on to our next target. Oh, puppy. Oh, oh, oh. Let's move on to our next target. The next target on my list that the brother that still want me to take down is my personal Scorch Beast, Charlie. She broke free from my house earlier and is harassing everyone at the White Springs, so she's got to chill out. I'm gonna kill her little Scorch buddy. They're gonna die, but this is only gonna knock her out. Yeah. Sorry about this, guys. Sorry about th I'll find a better chain. You know, it's not nice, but I feel bad. I really do. But it is what it is. If you're going to have a pet Scorch Beast, you better lock her up. Come on, Charlie. I'm going to need you to relax. Maybe chill out. Come down here. Or I'm going to knock you out of the sky. And just like that, Charlie is wrecked. I'm going to drag her back to my house. But now, let's get into this build, the weapon, and all of its mods. Starting off with the build, these are my base stats. These are all my base stats without the legendary prayer cards equipped. So if you want to build the exact build I'm using, this is the start. Now let's get into the legendary prayer cards. Over in the legendary prayer cards, these are all the legendary prayer cards that make of the build. As you can see, they're not all maxed, so there's definitely some room to grow here. But starting off, we have endurance maxed out, luck at two stars, strength at one star, intelligence at two stars, Far-Flung Fireworks at 1 star, and Power Sprinter at 1 star. Now these last two cards aren't unnecessary, though they are handy and fun to use. Far-Flung Fireworks says enemies killed with a ranged weapon have a 10% chance to explode, and Power Sprinter says while in power armor, sprinting consumes 20% fewer action points, and we use those action points for defense, so the more the merrier. But these are all the legendary perk cards that make of the build, now let's get into the normal perk cards. Over the normal perk cards, these are all the normal perk cards that make of the build. Starting off in strength, we have 9, and this is so we can have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. Over in perception, we have 3, and this is so we can have concentrated fire at 1 star. This is so we can target the limbs or the head. Then we have grenadier maxed out. Your explosives detonate with twice the radius, and this works with far flung fireworks. And I personally like explosives, so I have them both. Then over in endurance, we have 10, and this is so we can have life giver maxed out. Gain a total of plus 45 to your maximum health. 
Then we have Admantium Skeleton maxed out. Your limb damage is completely eliminated. We have Fireproof maxed out. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. Over in Charisma, we have 9, and this is so we can have a Lone Wanderer maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% to less damage and gain 30% AP regain. We have Field Surgeon maxed out. Stimpaks and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6, and this is so we can have First Aid maxed out. Stimpaks restore 45% more lost health. Then we have Stabilize maxed out. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. Over in Agility, we have 14, and this is so we can have Action Boy maxed out. Action Points regenerate 45% faster. We have Born Survivor maxed out. Falling below 40% health will automatically use a stim pack once every 20 seconds. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10% max 60% damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy maxed out. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck we have 15 and this is so we can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have better criticals at 1 star. Vats criticals now do a plus 20% to damage. We have 1 gun army maxed out. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple a limb. Then we have ricochet maxed out. Gain a 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies ranged damage. No PvP. Then we have starch genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads, and right away will never cure your mutations. And we have Critical Savvy maxed out. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. But this is it. This is my in-game full health plasma caster build with power armor. Now let's get into the plasma caster I used and its mods. Over the weapon, this is it. This is my two-star legendary plasma caster that I use for the demonstrations. And the main legendary effect is the Juggernaut's effect, which is the damage increases as your health increases. And it also is the VAT's critical hits do a plus 50% of damage. This gun is absolutely amazing. And though for my full health build, I was going for an anti-armor and still am anti-armor or two-shot, but a Juggernaut's will work for now. The mods I went with is the Prime Capacitor, Aligned Sniper Barrel, Standard Sight, and Default Appearance. Now this gun is deadly as you've seen and the damage on it is 172 Ballistic and 191 Energy. So definitely get your hands on this if you have not already, especially if you are a Heavy Gunner user. But guys, if you enjoyed the Fall 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fall 76 content, and guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.